Hello my viewers and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today I have this ZTE Miracle Wi-Fi 6 router AEX3000 Pro, it is the newest model from ZTE with a 7 dpi ultra high gain antenna, dual broadband aggregation, easy mess, NFC one touch connection, powerful security protection, minimalistic settings, Wi-Fi channel optimization and with a Qualcomm high performance professional routing chip. Well, let's open to see what we have inside, find out more about this product, set up to my network, testing the internet speed and transfer some files from my server. Nothing else on the box. The power adapter and it is a 12 volt 1.5 amp. 18 watt power consumption. And the cable length it is 1.5 meter. The LAN cable, same, it is 1.5 meter. And it is a CAT 5E UTP LAN cable. Okay. And of course, inside we've got some manual, some instruction. But stay with me, you're gonna find out all about this product. And there it is the router. At the bottom we've got this uh, rubber fit at this position. Here it is only plastic. Ventilation around. When it's getting hot definitely it helps ventilate all the heat and stay cool. We've got the reset button at this area. Wow, that is the first time that I see reset button at the bottom. <laughs> nice. Here it is the Mac, serial number, the Wi-Fi username and password. You can change uh, the Wi-Fi if that is your username or the password. And here we've got four external 7 dpi ultra high gain antenna with a 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz signal dual channel, concurrency and has its wall penetration. One router can achieve complete Wi-Fi coverage at any large sized rooms with multi wall penetration. And here is the NFC one touch area connection function. This device is able to accelerate Wi Fi connection for Android smartphones equipped with NFC, of course, technology. If your smartphone has an NFC, definitely you can use it. Here it is the LED indicator. And at the back, you can connect, of course, your power adapter here the WPS button, the LAN port, two LAN ports, it says here, and here we've got the one and LAN ports. Nice, well, that is all about how it looks, uh, this router. We've got here the Wi-Fi 6 logo. Well, let's connect it to my network, stop the setup and see how it works. Find out the internet speed and the transferring file speed between my server and other devices. Now, at the LAN port, connect your Ethernet cable from your modem, from your internet provider, and at the one LAN port, you can connect your desktop, laptop, and start the setup. And let's power it on. We have the red LED at the front. Now it's flashing, and now it is white, solid white. And now you need to visit this link, Add the login password, it is at the bottom of the router, of course you can change this login password, login, and there is the main interface, ZTE, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz is still scanning, after restarting or power off your router, it needs about 10 minutes to complete all the process and add all your devices. At this moment, we can see I've got 26 devices and the same says here, number of users, 26, connection status and still scanning. Modify login password, you can do that, log out, choose other language. For me, it takes too long to add all the devices especially the 5 GHz, it takes about uh, 10 minutes after restart. Maybe on a future firmware update, they can fix it. And here you can see all your devices, Wi-Fi MAC filter, block list, allow list. 
but because I have chosen a wired grid, I have my server and for me that is uh, the option that I can choose from this uh, router. At the settings, here you can start the setup, current mode, you can choose a single one or multi one. I suppose you can connect uh, two modems, two internet providers and have a better internet connection. At the connection mode you can choose dynamic IP, PPoE, static IP or wired bridge. It is your choice. Let's go back. Let's go at the Wi-Fi settings. Wi-Fi switch on or off. Turn off your Wi-Fi. Single SSID, you can enable that. The device will combine the Wi-Fi 2.4 and the 5 GHz frequency band together. For me, I like the most to have a separate the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz. And now we can see here, we don't have any more the scanning. That means uh, the 5 GHz now is ready and connecting all the devices. Now we've got 28 devices. Again on the Wi-Fi. Main SSID, you can choose the network name, broadcast SSID, you can switch it on or off. All the wireless client device is completely isolated. We can choose that. Security mode, open. Choose one of the security mode. I like more the WPA2PSK. The password of your Wi-Fi. It says medium here, the protection. You can display the password. Display QR code. You can scan with your smartphone camera and connect your smartphone to the Wi-Fi network. Sync to 5 year heads basic settings. That means you don't have the option to adjust all that. And again, you can rename the name, broadcast SSID check. All the wireless client devices completely isolated. You can check on that. Security mode again, you can choose one of the security mode. Choose the password, medium security. You can display the password, display QR code, scan with your smartphone and connect to your Wi-Fi and apply. Guest SSID. You can enable a guest uh, Wi-Fi. Time limit for network access, free. You can choose 2, 4, 8, 12 or 1 day. Then time remaining and apply. WPS. Here you can choose a PIN or PBC. And the same for the 5 GHz network. Wi-Fi optimization. You can enable auto optimization, disable, you can do manual here. Advanced settings. You can choose a Wi-Fi 5 mode if you want. Or you can just leave it as it is and choose the network mode, the channel bandwidth, 20, 40 or both. Frequency channel from 1 to 13. Max station number from 1 to 128 devices. And for the 5 GHz, you can choose here the network mode, channel bandwidth. This is better. Frequency channel 36 to 48. And max station number from 1 to 128 devices. Wi Fi coverage short, medium, or long. Now let's go back, OK, ZTE, and of course we've got and the NFC, it is on. You can choose to connect to a 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz uh, Wi-Fi network. You can set Wi-Fi name in Wi-Fi settings, tap to set, OK, perfect. And just go to your Wi-Fi settings at your smartphone, and by just tapping at this area, you can connect to any Wi-Fi if that is a 2.4 or 5 GHz with your NFC from your smartphone and connect. So easy, without adding any password. Let's go back, advanced settings, night mode, indicator light it is always on or you can schedule, Wi-Fi awake, disable, enable, it will awake the Wi-Fi. No, we don't need that. I have smart devices 
we need the Wi-Fi to be on. Router, basic settings, and we have the IP address, subnet mask, DHCP server, disable, MTU, MSSS. Let's go back, DDNS settings, we can enable that, manual automatic, we can choose from here, display password. I'm just showing you guys what you can do with this uh, router, what you can choose from this interface. You can check for a firmware update, auto check new version, enable, disable. Other reset, you can reset your router, restart your router, enable the schedule, choose CNTP, you can choose here, synchronize the time, the day, the minutes, everything. Diagnostics, you can run diagnostics. Watchdog settings. You can enable and you can see some information about that. Developer option, you need a password and speed test. It will run a speed test from the speedtest.net. Okay. And of course, you can choose from the main mobile version. And here you can choose connection settings. Now it is on a wired bridge, current mode. You can choose single or multi one. This interface, it is the same like the ZT app from your smartphone. And you can choose wired bridge, apply, Wi Fi settings, Wi Fi settings, the same here, Wi Fi coverage, WPS. You can choose the WPS button when you are pressing what it can do in which network it will connect with a pin or BPC and apply Wi-Fi 5 mode you can uh, switch it on or off we don't need that connect it in a bridge mode connected device information cannot be displayed correct other settings NFC you can choose to Enable, disable the NFC and choose again 2.4 or 5 GHz. Login password, you can change the login password, you can restart, nope. And that was the mobile UI, let's go at the PC, yes. And now we have a 31 devices connected. Detail information, you can see some status information here. And there is the ZTE link, you can scan the QR code, download the app and make the setup. I prefer to do the setup from my desktop or from my laptop, I have more options. Well guys, that was all about, now let's move on for my test. Test the internet speed, test my network. Now starting the test from my desktop, connect it on a LAN port. My internet speed from my provider, it is 100 megabytes per second download and 10 megabytes per second upload. Just to know the internet speed and next I will compare it, making a test from my laptop with a Wi-Fi connection 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz and from my smartphone Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. And next I'm transferring some files from my server and we can see the speed, it is very good, 113 megabytes per second. Very good speed between my desktop and server with an Ethernet cable. And next, testing from my smartphone the 2.4 GHz Wi Fi network, 2 meters away and 12 meters away. 12 meters away, we've got some walls, two walls, and we can see the speed is very good. Definitely, it has a very good Wi Fi signal. Testing from my smartphone. Galaxy S21 fee, testing twice just to make a comparison. Of course, the 2.4 GHz it has the limit, it will not go 100 megabytes per second. For that, we have the 5 GHz and there is the 5 GHz Wi Fi network, and we can see maximum 100 megabytes per second. It doesn't matter if it is 2 meters away or 12 meters away, definitely. It has a very good connectivity. The Wi-Fi signal, it is very strong. 
and running uh, the test again, more or less, we've got the same results. And next, I'm running from my laptop, 2.4 GHz, 2 meters and 12 meters away, and 5 GHz, and you can see the results. Again, the 5 GHz network, it is better. Of course, the 2.4 GHz, it has a longer signal if you want to connect other devices far away from your router. And again, I have run the test twice, just to see. I like it. It has a very good signal, very strong signal, the Wi-Fi. And definitely, if you have any problem with your default uh, modem router from your internet provider, just upgrade at this uh, router and have uh, better results. And now I'm transferring some files again from my laptop to my server on a 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, 2 meters away and 12 meters away. Again, we've got uh, two walls between the router uh, and the device that I'm testing, my laptop on a 12 meters. On a 2 meters, there is no walls. And definitely we've got a very good results. And now I'm testing uh, my Galaxy S20 Fun Edition. Again, the same test, transferring some files to my server. And of course, on a 5 GHz, it is better, stronger signal. It has a good design. I like the NFC. You can connect your smartphone instantly. You can adjust so many options and settings from the UI. It has a very good Wi Fi signal. I have tested 15 meters away, 20 meters away, and I can say definitely it has a good signal. Compare it with my oldest router and some other routers that I have. Well, guys, if you want to find out more about this ZTE Miracle AX3000 Pro Wi Fi 6 router, you can check down below to the description. There is a link, just click it and find more information, more about this router, more specs. And if it is suitable for you and you want to upgrade your old modem router, well, just buy it. And with all that, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It takes only one second. Press the subscribe button and done. Share this video. You never know who may need it. And hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye-bye.